ever feel like stress is controlling your life as your body is on fire that your heart rate is up you're always sweating any new circumstance make you stressed out most things in life stresses you out lots of people find that economic downturn and unemployment as severe stressful situations and and many people look for an escape did you ever realize that the stress response is your body's ability to fight or flee? Now, hormonally and neurologically, we are wired that when an undue cinema scenario, like a, like a stressful event or, or a country's downturn occurs, that your body neurologically creates the response that your heart rate rises, your hormones that create stress rises like cortisol and adrenaline, which make you sweat more. The hormones also make you produce more energy like glucose that power your muscles to either fight or flee from the scenario. Now this response can initially be very highly stressful, but it's actually designed as the body's response to face that scenario. For example, while you're walking, if a wild animal comes at you, if you didn't have the stress response that was created by your body, you would, wouldn't be able to stand and fight or wouldn't be able to run away. So these two choices are yours, but the body enables you to create that stress response and thereby giving you choices as to what you have to do in that scenario. So that's based on the way we would face it and would depend on the individual circumstance. Now, if you can't handle stress, you become chronically stressed out and that can have consequences for your health. For example, your social well-being gets disrupted. You may be performing poorly at exams or you may be shaking so much that you can't deliver a presentation. You may also face scenarios and circumstances so destabilizing and disabling that you just freeze and you cannot respond to that. Many people flee and migrate because they cannot handle chronic stress. So if this is familiar to you, I have a few tips as to why your body does that and also give you some tips to handle them. Ready? So fight or the flight response, which is the body's way of enabling you to face a scenario, can be a friend or a foe. As I said, you are to give a lecture and here you are shivering and your body is like gel and you don't have power to go there. Your body is having stress response. Now you can look at this scenario and say, look, I'm scared. I'm not going to be able to do that. You can make sure that this response that your body is having palpitation, sweating, this anxiety or the, or the excitement that surges through your body, you can use it to tell yourself, look, I'm so excited that I'm going to go there and deliver the talk of my life. See, you can use the same response to either unstabilize or destabilize you, or you can use the drive that the body wants you to get to go and deliver best. If you didn't have a stress response, you will be giving a flat talk and that wouldn't look good. Before an exam, for example, if you didn't have stress, you wouldn't be preparing for it and you wouldn't be writing it properly either. But the body prepares you by giving you the stress response so that you will be alert, wouldn't sleep during the exam and also do a good performance. So you can look at stress as a friend or as a foe. The problem is most people see stress as a foe and then get destabilized by that. So that's the one we want to delve into today. What can you do to handle this? First of all, 
if you develop positive thinking in your world in your outlook to the world you will find that stress actually becomes a friend to you okay you can use that to enable you to create solutions you will see that most of the inventions are under pressure are created or produced under pressure war time for example creates a lot of novel discoveries people who live in circumstances that forces them to go through a stress response or a shortage or something create something new that enables them to come out of it so you can either use stress as a negative influence or you can have a positive outlook in life that enables you to be an optimistic person that will look for ways to overcome it and allow stress to modulate your life so that you perform better and always using that stress to handle your day to day life better is a good way to become positive and successful in life because most presenters have the fear but the best ones are the ones that allow their stress to allow them to deliver a wonderful presentation or an exam paper there are multiple other ways in which you can handle stress as well you can use stress as a opportunity to create something new so always have that plan that whenever the body drives you mad you're going to create an opportunity out of that you're not going to run away from that you're not going to stand down you are going to create something positive out of that that's the optimistic idea concept of facing stress number 2 is to have some relaxation techniques personally what i do is to quieten down for a minute when i'm stressed down so just a minute down breathing in and out relaxation and allowing your body to relax creates a scenario where your mind is at work but your body is relaxed and is no longer under stress so all those stress is unavoidable in life and is part and parcel of modern day work environment you can choose to modulate stress in a way that makes you successful so would you like to try that technique in your life because most people that i see handle stress in a negative way allowing chronic stress to take over their life that makes them unhealthy why i speak about chronic stress is that most of my patients go through stress and that creates problems for example conditions like non communicable diseases diabetes high blood pressure cholesterol heart disease all of them are driven negatively by stress because it either makes them worse because of this chronic hormonal overexcitement or because of the choices they make as a response to stress so at the end of this video what i would like you to do is to sit down and look at your life is stress the overarching enemy that you have is stress driving you to go into chronic stress and is it ruling your life if so i gave you three pointers first one being optimistic or having a positive outlook to life using stress as a friend to drive you it's tough but as you learn you will see that it becomes a successful practice in your life secondly use stress as a modulator for positive action thirdly develop some relaxation techniques they could be multiple they could be a relaxation mind technique it could be a breathing technique it could be time spent every day in meditation or prayer it could also be something that you like to do like a walk nature heals and calms down your stress so these are things that you can do finally i would ask you to be prepared for scenarios if your mind is prepared say for example you're going to go for an exam and you know what's going to happen to you habitually that your heart will race and sweating will come 
how would you handle that scenario? Create that perspective, role play that and create a scenario where you are going to act differently from today on. Can you do that? If you successfully do these three principles over and over in your life, you will find that stress is not a four, but becomes a fire within you that can be managed successfully.